Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Hoven of Ramos Law and your host of Health Matters. I want to share with you what kyphosis is today. It's a really important part of your spine and you need to know about kyphosis and how it interacts with your daily routine. We're going to talk about it next. The term kyphosis basically is the term for a shape of your spine, specifically in your middle back. I'm going to show you with a spine what kyphosis actually is. In your thoracic spine, also known as your what we'll call your middle back, there's a curve that is going from the front to the back and then comes back around again. That is called a kyphotic curve. The reason that that's important is because when combined with the curves above and below in the neck and in the low back, the spine becomes a very strong but mobile unit. If this were just a straight spine, it would not have the flexibility and stability combination that it does by having this combination of curves. So this kyphotic curve is really important to try to keep in the right position. It's not too often that you'll see a what we call a hypokyphosis, meaning it's too flat, but it is there. And what happens is when that kyphosis is too flat, then you'll notice that there's a flat spot in the, in the mid back and there's oftentimes pain and discomfort that'll arise in that area of the spine. So when we get a hypokyphosis, there are certain exercises, postural exercises that we're going to want to do if it's not been a lot of degeneration because it's been there for a long time. We're going to try to get some postural exercises and we're also going to try to induce mobility into that spine to bring back that normal curve. Now on the other side, there's a thing called hyperkyphosis, which means that it's too bent. And when it's too bent, now you have the opposite spine getting all the effect. So in this case, the back of the spine, you can see that as I take this open, it really stretches all the tissues. In this case, it would be the joints and then the surrounding muscle and even nerve tissue can be stretched to cause chronic pain in here that's pretty significant. And I actually have hyperkyphosis and it's something that I need to manage every day. And so just like with a hypokyphosis, when we have too much curve, hyperkyphosis, there's a matter of trying to get the spine to strengthen back here to hold these muscles up as opposed to letting them sacrifice forward. And there's also doing soft tissue relaxing on the front side to allow things to open up, especially in the pecs with hyperkyphosis. So those are a couple things that we can do for kyphosis. And if you do have either a chronic hyper or hypokyphosis, your back is either too curved or not curved enough, then you may just have to manage that. And you can do that really easily with everything from at home soft tissue relaxing devices like lacrosse balls, foam rolls, that kind of thing. You can also go in for a deep tissue massage, acupuncture works great, chiropractic works great. There's all kinds of things that you can do to manage that if the, if the damage is already done and it's irreversible to correct because it's been there so long. So there you go. That's the basics on kyphosis. It lives in the mid back and hopefully yours is perfect. But if it's not and you have questions, let me know. You can email me at jim at ramoslaw.com. And if you have other things that you'd like to talk about or learn about, let me know and I'll be happy to share whatever information I can with you. So until next time, always remember your health matters and that you matter to us.